On May 28th, fans of Liverpool and Real Madrid gathered in Paris for the Champions League final. What should have been a thrilling occasion turned frustrating and then dangerous as kickoff approached. Gates were closed and thousands of mostly English supporters found themselves blocked outside the Stade de France, where French police deployed tear gas and pepper spray. After the game was delayed, organizers UEFA first cast blame on what it said were late arriving fans. France's sports minister claimed that tens of thousands of English supporters had tried to enter without tickets or with counterfeit ones. Neither assertion appears to explain what delayed Liverpool fans from entering the stadium and what created alarming conditions outside. To better understand what happened, Storyful examined dozens of videos taken in Paris on the day of the final and spoke with supporters about what they saw and experienced. Many fans reported long delays as they approached the Stade de France. Thousands were herded through packed underpasses near the stadium where they faced inspection. Videos confirmed that large numbers supporting both teams had already arrived outside the Stade de France hours before the match was scheduled to begin at around 9 p.m. Liverpool supporters were concentrated near gates at the south end of the stadium, while Madrid fans entered elsewhere. According to reports, as the match neared, officials abandoned the checkpoint inspections farther from the stadium, where tickets were meant to be initially examined, but which had created massive bottlenecks throughout the day. This allowed traveling fans, and anyone else, to pour forward closer to stadium entrances. Shortly after 8 p.m., a video recorded outside the Stade de France shows large numbers of people, many without clear team colors, attempting to climb a wall near Gate B. On a street not far from that gate, fans are seen suffering the effects of what is described as pepper spray. Additional footage taken around the same time shows that nearby Gate Z appears to be closed to Liverpool supporters. 20 minutes later, with a half hour to go before a planned kickoff, the crowd of Liverpool fans at Gate Z has grown considerably and attendees inside start to sense that a dangerous situation is developing. Among those in attendance at the final were survivors of the 1989 Hillsborough disaster, which resulted in the deaths of nearly 100 Liverpool supporters. This looks like a Hillsborough part two to us. You could see that it was inevitable that people were going to get crushed there. Um, and they were panicking. You could hear the panic in their voices. They, you know, they were shouting, let us in, let us in, holding up their tickets. Fans on the inside were trying to reason with stewards and police and say, you know, let them in, what's going on? And there was just nothing. There seemed to be no plan B. At around 8.30, supporters were also being turned away at gate Y, where at least one person is seen in need of medical attention. Outside, fans continued to be blocked from entering. French police released irritants near supporters affecting children. <laughs> Amid the chaos, some individuals were able to enter the grounds without tickets. Inside, officials can be seen in pursuit. Many attendees later said younger French people who did not appear to be fans of either team had added to the confusion both inside and outside the stadium, where some clashed with police. Madrid won the game 1-0, sending its fans into the street to celebrate. Afterwards, French authorities continued to blame Liverpool fans for the events of that evening. The club immediately demanded a formal investigation into what it called unacceptable entry issues and later called on France's sports minister to retract accusations leveled at supporters. On May 30th, UEFA announced that it had commissioned an independent report into events surrounding the final.